He doesn't care, but he spends 90 minutes at the podium telling you that he doesn't care. Oh, I'm not, but where was this attitude after the Tennessee loss? That was your time. No, don't, don't get up there. You beat the Jets. You beat the lonely, pathetic playing Jets. You hang 30 on them. They get nothing. And now you want to beat your chest like you King Kong on the Empire State Building? Bro, you standing up there like you Dan Marino. Stop playing. We remember what you were before uh, uh, Tyreek got there. Let me tell you how much they wanted Tyreek. Devontae Adams signed the largest contract in, free, in the wide receiver history as a free agent. The Miami Dolphins moved heaven and earth to get Tyreek, gave up major compensation, and made him the highest paid receiver in NFL history with years on his contract, something we don't normally see. And you want to get up here and pretend like you the driving force? Really, Tua? That's what we doing right now? Oh, you keeping receipts. We got some too. Because we, we watch how you played, had a 14-point lead. Do you know the history? Teams that had a 14-point lead in the last three minutes of the ball game? And we trotted you out there several times, and what did you do? Man, they didn't see what has happened with it, Dio. What has happened is these guys, they love all the praise. They live for the praise, but they die by the criticism. So if we critique mm. anything that they don't do well, oh, you are a hater. I keep receipts. Well, I got a pocket of them, too. And you know what? My receipt's long like a CVS list. You know when you go to CVS and you buy some <laughs> oh, lotion, Woody? Those are the and best. It, the nah. CVS coupon. Nah. You know, <laughs> Shannon, sometimes you have a really good day and you get like $10 extra bucks and yes. a 40% off coupon. Yes. And it's you like, buy, who's better than me? Yeah, I you love buy those such coupons. A win. Guys, you it's buy such Q a win. <laughs> you oh, buy, sorry, you, Shannon. You buy, you buy Q-tips and they spit out a receipt that takes you out the door. Come <laughs> on, Tua. Bruh, you had a nice See, bounce back game, but all of a sudden, don't start pretending like the, you a top three quarterback, like you Dan Marino. But this is why he's saying what he's saying, Shannon. What, what is the criticism behind the Tua stuff? I, I, I've never understood it. The player has never done anything outside of a brief period of time in the NFL when, in my opinion, the handling of him was completely improper. He's never done anything but played at an incredibly high level. A freshman year at Alabama to the national championship moment, the way he plays at Alabama for the majority of his career, he's dealt with so many injury things in, in, in the conversation around him. And is he ever going to actually become the player that he's becoming to his injury prone or to his soft and all that? And then all he does last year is he leads the number one offense in football. When he played, it was the number one offense in football. And all he's done this year is lead the number two offense in football behind the San Francisco 49ers. He's got, fit in the last two seasons, 50 touchdowns, 18 interceptions. And so there is this criticism of him that I'm not going to say it's like only him because I think that Dak Prescott is in a world of that and Josh Allen certainly is in a world of that. But for some reason, it's, well, without Tyreek, what did he do last week? What, what did he do last week? And, he and beat Shannon, the you Jets. Said, but Shannon, you, they, they, they threw it all over the yard on him. He and beat the say, Jets. You say he moved, they moved heaven and earth to get him. That's not true. The Chiefs they, called they, them. The Chiefs no. called them. No. Stop they didn't it. go searching for Tyreek. No, 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 no. Drew Rosenhaus hit up the Dolphins and the Jets. Stop this notion, Dan Olaski. The Tyreek Chiefs Hill called them. Tyreek Mike McDaniel Hill. spoke about it. Tyreek Hill was not on the block until Drew Rosenhaus said he wanted Devontae Adams' money. And Miami went and got him because that was good. And I'm not saying they should go help because, remember, Tua had an all-star. Look at the receivers he was throwing to. Name one receiver outside of John Mechie that did not go in the first round that Tua threw to at Alabama. Ruggs, Judy, Waddle, Devontae Smith. Four first okay. rounders. So in order, and Miami Dolphins said, in order for him to mimic that success, we need to go get that type of talent here in Miami. And it's I got no problem with that. I got no problem with that. Look at Joe Burrow at LSU. Oh, but I'm saying, Dio, I'm not saying that there's wrong. But stop this notion like he's Dan Marino. Stop this notion that he's Patrick Mahomes. But I don't think people. I don't think real quick. Wait, before you jump in, I don't. He's not talking like he's Dan Marino. Mm. But we yes, talk about is. Tua like he's me. No, no. He the Woody. 
Did he not say he's trying to be sarcastic? I'm the worst quarterback ever. Oh, yada, yada. Nobody but said he's the worst quarterback about. ever. That's what he said. I disagree with that. That's what he said. Take off, Woody. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, a couple things here. Number one, I know you are. Uh, I know the, the Jets are a big punching bag, but their defense is actually one of the best. They got arguably the two best corners, you know, two, three best corners as a secondary in the league, and two will just torch, the, torch that secondary last week. So I got to give them credit for that. But I think my bigger point when we talk about Tua and, and the way Tua was talking at the podium, it's really a byproduct of what Mike McDaniels has done with Tua as far as rebuilding him as a player, rebuilding his confidence, because it was never about his talent. Like, Tua Tungvaluwa is one of the most talented quarterbacks that we have in this league. The question about Tua since he's came in the league has been what? Injuries. Health. It's been health. He's finally, when Mike McDaniels came in, there's been two things that he's done. Number one, he's been, he's trying to prioritize keeping Tua uptight, mm -hmm. I mean, upright. Yep. And then number two, and more importantly, rebuilding the person, the man into his confidence. Because he saw, like all, like most of us saw, how talented this guy is. This is one of the most accurate quarterbacks that's come in the National Football League in quite some time. That's a true statement. And I think Mike McDaniel has come in and has rebuilt Tua and his confidence. And to me, that's what I saw at the podium. It wasn't that he was being disparaging, was disparaging the media or anything like that. He was just simply saying, like, look. I'm a pretty damn good quarterback. Y'all might say all these type of things, but check the tape. Like, I'm pretty good. And last week, I showed all of y'all who've been saying that, oh, that he's only doing this because of Tyreek Hill. I only went out there and thrashed arguably the best secondary in the National Football League in the Man, Jets. Man, stop it, so Woody. I are you telling me that, ju that Jets secondary is playing yeah. at the same level they played at last year? They're, they're like top three right now. They're playing pretty good. They're playing pretty they're good. They're playing pretty good. They're like Shannon, top three in the league. Shannon, d d d that defense that the Jets, that he played with against last week without Tyreek Hill, Tyreek Hill did not play in that game. The week before, gave up six points to Houston. Now, C.J. Stroud went out that game but hadn't done anything before he, before he had gotten hurt. They gave up 13 points to the Falcons. Miami had dunked on them. The week before, they gave up 32 to the, the Buffalo Bills, and that was an unbelievable performance by Josh Allen. Every, they gave every up time, 16. You see, you see what you do? Every time the what, Jazz defense facts? get cooked, it takes an unbelievable performance from someone else. It takes an unbelievable performance by this. But, it's the, number, but, but Shannon, the numbers don't lie. But, the but numbers that's don't what lie. happened, Shannon. That's what happened. Hold on. Hold but on. You know what? If, but you know what? But you know what? But you know what, Shay? But you know what, Shay? Shay, listen. I'm not, I'm not trying to bring the Jets into this. This is, to me, more speaking to Tua and his confidence and what right. Mike McDaniel has done with Tua in the, in the years that they've been working together. I don't look at what Tua d did as disparaging or self-centering. I'm just looking at the man that has, has been infused with a lot of confidence, and he's playing with a lot of confidence, and he's playing like one of the best quarterbacks that we have in how, our league right how, now. How did, how, did, how did Tua look against Tennessee? Uh, he played okay. He played okay. No, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, Woody, Woody, when I ask you how did Tua look against Tennessee, I need you to say he looked great. I don't need you to pause, look up oh, to the wait, left. Hold on. So we so he, so he we gonna oh, great. We, oh, so we we can nitpick any quarterback in this no, league. We no, can, no wanna, we can nitpick any quarterback. Have the same I want you to know. I want you to have the same bravado. Step to the podium and talk like you talk against Tennessee. How did he look against Kansas City? He played good. Right, he played good in that you, game. The man's got really, he played good? He did. Wow. I called okay. both those games, Shannon. I, 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 he played I okay it. against Tennessee, and he played good against Kansas City. Not great. Wow. He, so, here's so, the thing, so Shannon. Good. Here's the thing. We couch everything with Tua, right? There's always a – We couch everything with every quarterback. No, D. we oh, don't. Damn. Yes, no, we, we do. Don't. No, we don't. We don't, we don't couch – We don't couch things when we talk about, like, three or four of the quarterbacks in the NFL. Name who? Name who? Do we couch things when Josh Allen plays great? Do we couch stuff with, like – Yes. Man, Steph, do we when, when with Dak Patrick, plays with Pat, great? With Patrick Mahomes, be, with Dak Prescott, we say, well, who is Dak doing this to? He's beating up on the Giants. He's beating up no, on no, the no. Commanders. I'm, I'm talking he, about. I'm, I'm not talking about like in regards to that, Shannon. What I'm saying is, when Tua plays well, it's always through like looking through Tua's v performance vantage point of oh, Tyreek had seven for a buck fifty. It's never 
man, Tua played so great that Tyreek was a benefit of it. It's almost like, and this isn't a knock on Reek, he's unbelievable, but it's always through the, well, Tyreek played great and Tua benefited off of it. It's never flipped. 